What's going on? In this video, I'm going to go through how I add subtitles or closed caption to my screencast and shorter videos. I use a program called Subtitle Editor for Linux. Being a Linux user, I only have experience with programs on Linux that can do this for videos or using the or a text, a basic text editor to do it uh, manually. I'll show you a screenshot of a text file as an example of doing it. It's also on my GitHub. So you have the understanding as to how you can do it without any special program. But the good thing about having a program to help you do this is you can have a certain section plan and you can get down to milliseconds so that certain sentences or phrases show at a very specified time instead of you going through and having to press play and stop and loop all of that on your own with VLC or something else. You can do this in a program that will play only a certain section, uh, loop it, and it'll give you a preview, et cetera, some of that stuff without having you to having to you know, show the video in your video player, upload the subtitle file, uh, usually a SRT from what I see. That's, that's what I use, a SRT file and doing all of that stuff manually. This program allows me to do all of that within one window. So it makes, it improves the workflow and allows me to see everything in real time. And that's what I always aim for. Unfortunately, I don't know of any programs that can do this on Mac or Windows. This program hasn't been updated in probably about two years, but it's a very stable program. It does everything I needed to do. It makes things very simple. I'm going to show you how I can make a subtitle file using this program uh, for uh, my welcome video on YouTube. I'm gonna go here to waveform and I'm gonna open a waveform from file. It's gonna generate that waveform. I don't need to save this. I don't know what it is. I think it's just showing a waveform. I don't need that. So now this is where I get into using a lot of my keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to press new. Now I have my SRT file. Here you see the columns, the line number, when it's when the subtitle starts, ends, how long it is from that start to end, uh, number of characters per second. I don't know why that matters too much as of now. What I normally do is try to keep it from being three or four lines showing at one time. I don't, I don't want to make it harder for you to, for someone to read them. You know, having three or four lines up there is probably going to get in the way of the whatever's going on in the video and then the text. So I'm, I can go up here for edit. And these are the three commands I'll be playing around with. Insert before, uh, control insert, and insert after, and delete. So I'm going to do a insert after. Because I already have the text uh, copied, I'm just going to click text and press enter. And this is all of the text I'm going to be using. Now, I'm using, a, using this to make my life a little easier. I'll be cut and pasting into other ones. Now, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to make this a little easier on myself. So that's the waveform audio. The video is going to show up here. And this, as of right now, it's believing that all of this needs to show up from zero to one. So if I press, I want to show it to you also. Let's see, play selection. Yeah, so if I did control enter. Welcome to the go look. It's, it wants to show all of that here. And covering slash, covering audio slash video production. All of that's way down here. So. I'm going to make my life a little easier. I'm going to move this all of the all the way over here. That way that's out of the way. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do a control insert. So now first thing I want to say, welcome to the Go Look Lively YouTube channel where I share. I'm going to get rid of that colon, press enter. I'm going to click up here, paste it. 
And welcome to the Go Live Lively YouTube channel where I share music, EDM, rap. As you see, I, I, I moved the duration, I changed the end point because that was a lot farther than it needed to be. So, I think that started about right there. I'm gonna try this again. Control enter. Welcome to the Go Live Lively YouTube channel where I share. All right, so I'm gonna go over here again. Uh, if I press this one, I can press insert and it'll show after. And I'm gonna move this about here. Music. I'll leave that for there. I may, I may fix that later. I'll just leave it for now. I'm not gonna make that decision right now. I can always change it. Let's see. How would that look? So how do you sound? EDM, rap, R&B, creative comments, podcast. Insert again. Cut, delete, enter, click, click. Paste, control, enter. Podcast covering IT, music production, fitness, and veterans resources. That was a little close. And that's a lot. And insert again. software walkthroughs covering audio video production and everyday tasks with Linux and open and software walkthroughs covering audio video production and everyday tasks with Linux and open source software oh wasn't paying attention to that podcast covering IT music production fitness and veterans resources I wasn't paying attention so I'm gonna make sure th these aren't a bunch of uh, three or Nova lines. Welcome to the Go Live Lively YouTube. That's good. Music, EDM, rap. That's good. Podcasts covering IT, music production, fitness, and veterans resources. It just looks like a lot. But I'm going to leave it. But this is going to get edited. And software walkthroughs. Covering audio, video production, and everyday tasks with Linux and open and software walkthroughs. Covering audio, video production. I hate when I press the insert button and not know it. I'm glad it told me. Uh, this is just a random comment, by the way. For those of you that are wondering what I'm talking about, it's the insert key. And when you press the insert key, that was telling me to save, which I should do. I don't know what any of this, any of this stuff right here means. I just leave it alone. Save. But yeah, when you press the insert key, and all of a sudden everything you press is replacing what's already there. Life got a lot better for me in typing once I, I realized that. Random bit. Okay, where am I? And software walkthroughs covering audio video production. Right. And everyday tasks with Linux and open source software. But blogs and more mute. And everyday tasks with Linux and open source software. And I made that a little bit longer. And everyday tasks with Linux and open source software. But Now I'm going to make one more insert of that out. Let's see. All 
songs and more music, check out jtspratley.com. All to more music, check out jtspratley.com. Move that a little bit over. All right. That's it. Welcome to the Go Live Lively YouTube channel, where I share music, EDM, rap, R&B, creative comments, podcasts covering IT, music production, fitness, and veterans resources, and software walkthroughs covering audio, video production, and everyday tasks with Linux and open source software. All to more music, check out jtspratley.com. And I didn't have to do that. I could have just pressed play. Right? Welcome to the go. go Live Lively YouTube channel, where I share music, EDM, rap, R&B, creative comments, podcasts, covering IT, music production, fitness, and veterans resources, and software walkthroughs, covering audio, video production, and everyday tasks with Linux and open source software. For blogs and more music, check out jtspratley.com. And that's it. Now... With this video, for example, sometimes it kind of seems a little redundant. I could understand that. Well, unnecessary. And there's also certain programs that do this automatically. I think YouTube has an option to do an auto translate uh, to make some type of subtitles file. I like doing this though, as you know, a newbie enthusiast for improved accessibility, uh, web accessibility. So this is something I just enjoy doing. Obviously, it's a lot easier for a shorter video that's under two or three minutes. So I'm not gonna do this for a podcast. Uh, at that point, if if you wanna listen to it or you wanna read it, then it might be better I'll wait until I blog about it or try and to find something that'll do that for you, even though it's probably not gonna be very accurate. But I enjoy doing this. It's, it's something that I see as being helpful, being a helpful skill. And the more I get into uh, making, you know, videography and video editing, a way of making it more accessible to others. But like I said, for a video like this one, it's mostly text anyway. It may seem a little unnecessary, but. I don't know enough about the disabled user's workflow and user experience to understand when when that redundancy could be helpful. So I just assume it is in this situation because I just think it's a good practice, especially being a welcome video. If you see that, you have an idea that maybe I care enough to put that closed caption of subtitles in other videos throughout my YouTube channel, which I have. So you see the SRT file has been saved. That's how I did this in subtitle editor on Linux. And you can, I'm not going to go to the page, but it's that one would tell me, let me see shift enter. Is it? No. Yeah. Control enter. That's the URL that it wants to, wants to take me to. If I if you want to know more about this specific subtitle editor, again, I'm a Linux user, so you may have to go to alternative2.net and other similar websites to try to find a subtitle editor for your OS. But that took a couple minutes; it wasn't too hard, and I could show you how it looks in another player. Welcome to the Go Live Lively YouTube channel, where I share music, 
EDM, rap, R&B, creative commons, podcasts covering IT, music production, fitness, and veterans resources, and software walkthroughs covering audio, video production, and everyday tasks with Linux and open source software. For blogs and more music, check out jtspratley.com. Out. And that's it. And I think I missed a period. I share. All right. Yeah, so that's it. Get questions, leave a comment below. If you know of any better programs for any OS, feel free to let me know. And I'd like to try them out. I have tried a few others on Linux. The workflow wasn't quite the same. I may check them out again and see about doing some type of comparison video similar to how I alluded to in my Caden Live video. But for now, I'm just going to simply stick with saying I trust subtitle editor. I'm comfortable with it. Later, I'll do another video showing how to do the same thing using a text editor. You know, your notepad or word pad or a mouse pad, etc. So that's all I got for you today. This is creating subtitles, uh, creating an SRT subtitle file for a video. Go live lively.